Hey guys, welcome back to RC Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So it's the next instalment of the absolutely gorgeous Marui Shogun. What a car this is. <laughs> um, so yeah, you've seen this once before when I got it. Massive shout out to Philip for a great deal on this piece of gorgeousness. Um, but yeah, it needed it needs a clean up and it needed a driver figure. That's the only thing it was missing. So a massive, nearly dropped it. Oh my goodness, I really need a table, don't I? Okay, this is great viewing. So a massive shout out to my good friend Keith. Um, he actually he actually had a spare Marui driver. Now, these driver figures for Marui go in three different cars. So there was first of all the Ninja, then the Shogun and the Samurai. That's probably not the correct order. Uh, the driver figures are identical, but we'll get, like one fastens in on the helmet, one fastens in. Anyway, I think there's two or three different ways it fastens down to the car. Not that that matters. So yeah, we've got to paint that up, complete box art, get it in the car, we'll polish the shell up, uh, and then I get to do the tyre writing on the cars. Cars, tyres, because or, or, almost the full tyre's got writing around it, and once the driver figures in and it's polished up, and it's just going to look incredible. And uh, I cannot honestly wait to get it in the collect collection. So, um, yeah, let's get it upstairs and let's get this process started. So I think it'd be rude not to have a quick look at the car before we start because it is an absolute thing of beauty. So if you didn't watch the first video, it's it's not quite a new build, but it's not a million miles off. It's, it's pretty mint, um, as you can see by the wheels and tyres, which are one of the hardest bits to find. Um, we believe it's original shell and decals. The silver, which is complete box art, has actually been painted on the outside, but still looks very cool. And as I said in the first video, I kind of understand why they might have done that. So anyway, yeah, as I say, big thank you to Keith, because we now have the genuine driver figure, which is awesome. And if you've not seen the Marui one before, the face is separate on the inside, which is a little bit different. Um, yeah, very cool. So yeah, I'll have to dig out. I think it's, I think it's orange suit, black seat belt, silver buckles, and I think it's a silver helmet from memory. So we'll dig those paints out. So uh, yeah, I need to clean these up first, and uh, then we'll get some paint on. Right. So that's the first bits of paint on. So as I said, this is the box art color. So silver helmet, um, orange suit. It's gonna have black seat belts. Hopefully, I'll get a bit of silver on the buckles. And obviously the centre section is coloured black, black gloves. The face at the moment has just got the black on so I can get the surround on. Once that's dry we've got to get the flesh colour on. And somehow I've also got to try and get some black round the front of the helmet, which I'm not very good at. But anyway, that's got to be left to dry. So next up let's get the wheels off and uh, have a look at the tyre writing situation. Right, I'm in my happy place my friends. I really enjoy doing this, even though I really struggle even with the big magnifying glasses on to do tyre writing nowadays. Um, decided to do something slightly different. I'm going to do a tyre writing in the silver. Um, again, a lot of question gets asked a lot. This is sharper, ultra fine, paint, oil based paint pen. Um, so let's see if I can get this. Uh, you see all the tyre writing around it. I don't know if I can do every piece, but I can do most of it. But there's one section somewhere where um, it's going to be rather difficult but um, yeah so I'm just going to give them a quick wipe over and I'm going to mess around the biggest part for this is getting these pens to flow correctly when they haven't been used for a while even if it's only a week it just you've got to really get it flowing properly and then it just makes the job so much easier um, anyway I'll come back when I've got the first coat on right a little bit more progress so we've done the first coat on the wheels I have missed out where is it I'm looking off camera there's more writing here but um, that's that's a little bit more difficult to do and um, the writing I can't do is on this side just I'm not even going to attempt it so yeah we do need to fill that in um, debating whether to give that a second coat or not because it looks kind of cool and I don't like a mega bright so yeah next job I'll get this bit done um, driver wise still waiting for stuff to dry but as you can hopefully see I've now put the black gloves on coloured the centre bit in and now I'll wait for that to dry and then we'll attempt to seat belts driver figure I've put some flesh on um, again I've had to go on pretty thick to cover the black up 
Um, but yeah, it's just a case of letting that dry now. So yeah, let's try get these tyres finished. Right, I've got to be honest, I'm pretty happy with that. Considering considering sort of the, the level of my painting, that's not too bad at all. That's turned out a treat. Love it. I'm really happy with that. Um, and yeah, same for the tyres. Only one coat, as I said. I've had to clean the little numbers up because, um, yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're difficult to do. But you get the gist of it. And obviously, if, I, if I'm confident enough to show you this, and if you're watching on a big screen, that's huge. So you imagine when it's on a car, it just looks absolutely superb. Right, I need to polish the shell up next. Right, that's the driver in position. Now, unfortunately, as I said earlier, this driver's got like, it goes in three different cars, and there's one that goes through the roof into his helmet. There's another one that goes there, I don't know if you can see that hole. And then there's the actual steering wheel's missing from this, which is not a big deal at all. But I'm pretty certain that the steering wheel has the bracket that locates it onto here. So unfortunately I don't have that, but that's no biggie at all. So it's just double-sided tape down. Um, right, let's get the wheels on. Yeah, loving that. Oh, that tyre right in makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Let's see if I can lower the camera down for you, so you can see it better. Yeah, that is awesome. Absolutely love it. But you hate me moving the camera around like this. I would. <laughs> right, let's get that body on. Now, unfortunately, I can't get the windows crystal clear. Um, I'm going to have to buy something. Because um, I don't want to damage the plastic either, so I'm not too sure what to use. But uh, I've cleaned them up the best I can for now, but I definitely need to improve on that. Look at that. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely made up to have this in my collection. I honestly can't tell you just how much. I'd never thought, I knew I'd get a Shogun, but I didn't think I'd get one in this condition. Just what an absolutely incredible looking car. That's that's funny, isn't it? Just a quick driver figure and paint the wheels up and you get, just it's completely different now. I'll just go back to that side because that window's better than the other side. You can see a lot more of the driver. So uh, yeah, stick in the comments what you think, my friends. Are you a fan of the Shogun? What an absolute gorgeous piece of kit. And I apologise, my friends, but I just had to take this opportunity to put them both together because I've had but I've had these cars individually a couple of times over the years, but um, I've never had them together. So this is a little bit of a moment for me. The Ninja and the Shogun together. That's kind of cool. Damn. What things, my friends, what things. I think that's my favourite angle. Happy days. Well, my friends, what a thing. Sorry if I keep saying it throughout this video, but I really am excited to have this in my collection um, in the condition it's in. Never generally, genuinely thought I would get one in this condition and for such a great price. Again, thank you to Philippe. Um, yeah, so I should really run this at some point and it will go on the to-do list of the cars to run, but it's a million miles away uh, just because all of the other stuff I'm doing on this channel at the moment. But uh, yeah, you'll 100% see this again running. Won't be seeing it running with those wheels and tyres on, I can tell you that. But um, we'll put something else on at that time. Um, to be honest, when I'm doing that, I should really do the Ninja at the same time. So yeah, you will see it eventually, but um, it's going to be a while yet. I've got a lot of other content to get through. So uh, yeah, leave in the comments as always what you thought. That uh, I enjoy reading your comments, especially on something as special as this. So uh, yeah, I'll end this video here. So as always, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn all the notifications on. And if you're still just watching generally, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. That'd be absolutely awesome. And as always, my friends, happy RCing.